Boatyards have always attracted an eclectic mix of creative types, and Burr Brothers Boatyard in Marion, Massachusetts is no exception. Case in point is David Wolfie Wolf, a composites expert and musician who built his own guitar from carbon fiber and resin that was left over from a high-tech sailboat project. So Wolfie, tell us, uh, tell us again about how the idea behind the guitar was born. Well, before I worked here, I worked at a company called Concordia Custom Yachts, and we're building a 105-foot sailboat named the Wally Gator, and the boat was made out of, it was, the boat was destined to be the fastest boat in its class. In order to do that, you have to make that a high-tech materials, so they spec'd out of the carbon fiber and the Kevlar. This company, SP Systems from Europe, um, provided the materials, and they also provided the resin, which was a two-stage resin. You mix it up in a pot, and it cures but then you bake it in an oven and it goes into a second stage cure which uh, makes it really super crispy hard so with the hull with the bulkheads and no deck on it i was walking through one day and i kicked the bulkhead and it just resonated like like crazy the stuff is so crisp and hard that um, i thought i gotta make a guitar out of this this is great well i've been playing um the guitar since i've been a teenager but i never built one and um, in order to build a guitar, um, I didn't really know how to do it, tell you the truth, but I've built all kinds of different parts for boats, uh, compressed carbon fiber, uh, shivs and hardware and steering wheels and all kinds of stuff. And I just looked at the guitar and said, well, it's a boat, it has loads on it, just like a boat does, thick string to a thin string, which causes a twist load. So we orientate the fibers in the neck to you know, withstand that load. And um, to me, it was just a boat, sort of a boat guitar. Well, basically you took a block of foam and carved this shape out of it. And uh, put a skin of fiberglass on the foam, and then that became a, what's called a plug. And um, off the plug, laid up fiberglass on that, popped that off, and that became a mold, like a cookie mold. And, uh, and then you take this material and you lay it into the mold. The neck had to have foam in it in order to wind the fibers around it. And after it was done, I poured, um, held it up like this and poured acetone into it. And the acetone dissolved the foam and left a hollow neck. And all, what that does is that makes more, more vibration. The, the, the face of the guitar goes from thick to thin like a speaker. Um, and the whole idea is it, is it pumps. And that's really what a wooden guitar does too. The structure inside this is the same as a wooden guitar, except that it's made out of carbon fiber. Right. But the, the principle sound, but um, I'm happy with the way it sounds. I, I feel it's a deep, rich tones. It doesn't really sound like a wooden guitar. Um, I think it resonates much more. And uh, so I think the experiment was pretty good. I'm really happy. Right? Oh yes, we do. The the clams. We call ourselves the clams, and a group of people, different people, uh, play uh, instruments and sing, and uh, we have a good time. We have a, a real fun time. We're currently on our third um, uh, song that we're writing ourselves, so we're really proud of that, mm -hmm. and it's just fun. Yeah. Any uh, any CD deals in the in the works? <laughs> oh, stay tuned. <laughs> 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 